Greetings, this is another episode of Q Doma TV. Thank you for having me once again, as always. Today's business, we're going to talk about the system. Yes, we're going to talk about the system. Well, thank you already know the running for presidency has already started. You know, there's uh, Mitt Romney and uh, there's Obama. Now, I don't know who y'all going to vote for. Me personally, I'm not voting for anybody. Plain and simple. Because the reality is, I mean, when it comes down to it, these politicians, they do not have your best interests in mind. They never did. The main agenda is basically to keep things as they are, how they have been going. That's just the reality of it. I hate to break it to all of y'all, but this is what it is. I mean, this whole thing with the uh, economy being as bad as it is, well, I hate to break it to you. One of the reasons why our economy is really bad, well, you can thank your politicians for that, mainly, because they're the very people who have hijacked everything from the businesses to the reason why our money is worthless. And you can also thank the banks for that, too because they control the money. Yes, they control the money. If you look on your dollar bill, you'll see there's a little um, little symbol there. It has a little circle on it. It says Federal Reserve. Now, you know, the government controls, like, a certain portion of things within our system. But you know what? The truth be told is the government has little interaction with the Federal Reserve. Little interaction. And I don't have to tell you, the Federal Reserve is owned by the banks. And banks are not much different from a, I don't know, cartel. Basically, the banks are like the mafia. Now the funny thing about it is, when the banks start to fail, they get the bailout. Now, when it comes to the people, that's us, you know, we the one who needs the bailout. We the people that need help here. But the problem is, the reason why the situation cannot be fixed is because the way it's been set. Well, for one, the money is made in such a way, is made in a way in which to accumulate more debt. There's no way in the world that the debt could ever be paid off. I don't care what anyone tells you. The reality is the system wants you to stay in debt. When people get in debt with credit cards and, you know, I think you probably remember the big housing bubble and all that. All these things, they were set in motion for a specific reason. Because, if you really think about it, it all goes back to the banks. It always goes back. And the thing about it is the people that are behind the scenes, they're watching. They're the individuals that's gaining from your pain and suffering. Yes, they are. You know, they're, they're the politicians. They're the religious fanatics. They are the so-called people that we supposedly trust. 
with that's going to well the people that tell us that everything's going to be okay when in reality is not if you notice with anything that you buy notice it doesn't last that long notice nothing most things that we have it has a certain warranty on it funny thing about that is things are made in such a manner in which there they have a certain warranty on them they were never meant to last any longer than what they are because if you think about it if you make something that's too good or something that can't be how can I say upgradable then that means the person gets to keep it longer and they don't have to buy something new well the beauty of that is it breaks and the person has to get a new one this is the reason why nothing that we have lasts that long and that's another lo lo lovely business tactic that unfortunately we have to deal with it's, it doesn't just stem from just the whole money factor and it's not just our economy you know this 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 whole it's is everything literally everything is for is for the same reason why in my personal opinion the National Cancer Association they are not by no means trying to find a cure for cancer anytime soon if they were in my opinion I think cancer would probably be cured by now it probably would be I really honestly, I, I really think it. I really don't think they're really putting as much as they want to into it. And, you know, it's really sad, really, because there are a lot of people that's dying with that. I can say the same thing um, with the whole concept of uh, age research. Same deal. Same deal. You know, I find it, I find it hilarious. Like when every year rolls around and um, we, you know, I don't know, we get into this stage where, you know, oh, we're about to get a new president or whatever. And celebrities step into the spotlight. I think it was, a, I don't know what year it was, but, um, you know, they had the, he had the celebrities, this whole thing, uh, vote or die junk. I thought it was ridiculous. Vote or die. Oh, if I don't vote, I'm going to die. Right. It's a load of crap. It's just as, as big as, I mean, let me tell you how much of a bigger load of crap it is. It's as big as a load of crap as telling someone, if you don't believe in God, you're going to go to hell. That's how much of a big load of crap it is. Yes, it is. You know, they want to get P. Diddy and Madonna and all these other people. You know, tell people to, you know, vote. That's a joke. Literally. Because the reality is, when it comes to celebrities, they're feeling, they're fueling the big machine that is spiraling us down to destruction every minute of the way the same machine is the same machine that keeps us down you know it's the same machine that makes all the lovely entertainment that you watch on your TV you know it's the same machine that sits there and it keeps you distracted from what you know what you should be looking at yeah that machine you know about it think you know about it you know it's in other words 
I guess the best the best analogy that I could use for, for the call it is just the machine. That's all they had, the machine. And those that fuel the machine, they're the worst of the worst. Because the thing about it is you'll never see them. Because they're behind the scenes. They're pulling the strings. And they're watching, as always. You know, they have set things into motion. And it stems from all the way from the top all the way down to the bottom. And, um, you know what, that pretty much sums it up for right now. There's more that I could elaborate on this, but I'm just going to give you a little time to kind of, you know, digest this, take it all in, you know, just kind of think about it. You know, because I, me personally, there's no point in me investing in individuals that have no that have no relevance. You know, it's the same thing with religion. There's some good aspects with religion, but when it comes down to you know, to uh, important things, when people want to cross that barrier and put it in political terms, you know, that that comes as a problem with that. You know, it's nothing wrong with having your own ideas about certain things, but when it starts to affect the well-being of a system, yeah, I think there's a problem with that. And I think something should definitely be done about that. Definitely. Yeah, I really do. Well, this has uh, been a Q-Dome moment. And I thank you for your listening and watching. And when you get a chance to, leave your questions and comments. I look forward to seeing them. Thank you.